these are the most popular Roblox driving games in the last decade and I'm gonna be playing all of them. So the first game we're gonna be checking out is Drive Blocks Unlimited. This game was popular around 2014. And you can see the map is very blocky. I mean, this is a bigger map than a lot of car driving games. There's even a freaking race circuit here. So this seems like a blue car. I don't know which car that's just supposed to be. This does look like an Alfa Romeo. Oh, they're free. Okay, so this is a Chevrolet. Oh, this is a VIP edition. Okay, well, I do not have VIP. I think I'm just gonna get the blue car. This is a Nissan. 240 sx it has nitrous what how does this game have nitrous the car is freaking vibrating is this like a v16 engine inside the car oh there's a car dealership wait coin seg oh my god ferrari wait no i'm not a ferrari fan where's the mclaren Tell the bring up mclaren ah look at these babies Oh, I need VIP for this car. Not enough money. A million? How do you get a million in this game? Okay, well, the game just called me broke. Oh my god, this is actually almost unplayable. I haven't even tried the nitrous. Hold on, what happens if I press this? Oh, we're going 67. Oh my god, we're doing illegal speeds right now. We're doing 67 and a 60. And we're about to crash. Ouch. Okay, these look like houses that are near the beach. So they're probably beach houses. Oh yeah, I remember this game now. You buy a house and you get revenue. I must have played it when I was super young because it took me a while before I started remembering this game. Let me know in the comments below if you were born before or after this game came out. If I drive long enough, I can afford the Bugatti. But that's not gonna happen in this video. Let's go to the next game. We are currently in Ultimate Drive in Westover Islands while we're actually playing the 2015 version of the game. But first, a word from today's sponsor, G Park. G Park is a sandbox game platform where everyone can join immersive game spaces created by people around the world. For example, in Fantasy Haven, you can not only race with friends, but you can also experience robberies, hang out in an arcade, dance on a yacht, and even have intense fights. And if you're a PvP fighting fan, I recommend downloading G Park to play Unlimited Rumble, where you can have insane fights against your friends and destroy other people with cool weapons and awesome abilities. I mean, just look at this flame hack attack. It's actually insane. These games aren't the only ones on G Park. As you can see, there are much more, and you can pick whichever one fits your taste. Download G Park now using the link in the description and start your adventure today. Thank you, G Park, for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to Ultimate driving this is actually giving me nostalgia because i used to play this game all the time so these were the old car spawners no fancy menus no fancy buttons thankfully this game makes all the cars free so i can try whatever i want my favorite part about this game is back in the day they had like different jobs so you can be a cop you can be a firefighter highway worker my favorite job was actually being a trucker I'm not turning it. Ah! And you can see, this is the main game. It had Kensington, Palm Shores, Westover, this part of the map, and South Beach. And these other parts of the map all had, like, different games. I remember begging people for Robux back in the day just to get this police game pass. So I can, like, arrest people and shoot people. Considering how old this game was, it was really ahead of its time. However, nowadays, Ultimate Driving is just not the same but that's pretty much all there is to this game i might have missed some stuff but let's get to the next game as someone who joined roblox around 2016 this was the game that was popular around then this is car crushers one you don't have any fancy menus to choose which car there is just money and parts and a bunch of cars obviously since i have 2.2 million dollars i'm gonna go with this police car you don't even need to press anything you just step on the pressure plate and there's your car and you don't have that many crushers so you can't really open it from here you have to get out of your car and go to the crusher control and open the gate and see your car get absolutely destroyed i mean there is something satisfying about seeing a car get destroyed oh my god also if you guys think this shirt i'm wearing in roblox right now is cool you can find the real life 
Swift version of it on my website, Fetzaland.com, and some other cool designs on there. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description, or you can click the pop up on the top right of the screen. And once you destroy your car, obviously you would click the teleport to spawn on top to spawn the next car you're gonna destroy. Let's get this two million dollar pickup truck, and this time we're using the giant caution. Conveyor is centering the car in the middle, and now we go down. Oh my god. Well, I don't think there's anything left in the car. Let's go up. And yep, there's no more car. But that was pretty much it for this game. Now we're playing Vehicle Simulator. I mean, I do not remember it looking like this. And if you know anything about this game, when you see this Lamborghini Aventador, you should know that I'm an alpha tester. Back in the day, I was very broke. I had no Robux. So it was very hard for me to get those 25 Robux to get alpha access to this game. I mean, the car handling in this game and the car models are still sick to this day. A feature I really like about this game is the fact when you press the X, the car actually jumps. And of course, we have nitrous. Oh my god, that air control is absolutely crazy. Another cool feature that was ahead of its time for this game is the car customization. You can see you can pretty much change everything about your car, the color, the rims, the spoiler and so on, and you can actually upgrade your car. So this game was trying very hard to be like GTA, so a lot of stuff was similar to GTA. If it was still getting updated regularly and up to current Roblox standards, it would actually be one of the top games. Too bad the owner is in prison. <laughs> Well, that's pretty much it for this game. We're now playing Drive Shaft Force. This is actually one of the few games I've never played in this list. Refilling gas, so that's a cool feature. I believe Ultimate Driving also had gas. <laughs> you can tell this game is old because this is an iPhone 4, dude. Spawn new vehicle. F wait, 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 wait. I have a Fiat 500, which is like tiny car for women or tiny men. And I have a coiny seg. We're in the car. Okay, nice looking menu. Owned by Fexalan. Okay, nice handling. Oh no, it feels a bit oversteering. But this is quite nice. I mean, the map is not that impressive. But yeah, I don't think there is much to do in this game besides drive, get money, buy new car, drive new car, get money, and buy a car money. I don't know what I'm saying, but you guess what I'm saying, probably. And compared to the previous game, it's kind of a setback. Anyways, let's go to the next game. And now we're playing one of the games that are still popular at the moment. This is Car Crushers 2, the sequel to Car Crushers 1, obviously. And and I mean, this game is amazing. I mean, you can see there's so many more crushers in this game. It's absolutely insane. Oh my goodness. What is this with coinus eggs and this video? I mean, you can see the car looks blocky because it's made by a bunch of tiny parts. But I mean, it still looks very nice. And the handling is like better than a lot of car driving games I play. And oh, yeah, blender, here we go. We're gonna go through the blender. A cool thing about this game is you don't need to get out of your car and go press the button you can just press e here and you can die oh my goodness <laughs> i died i did it okay well i made it down with my car and i just made 370 million dollars and this is basically a pvp chaos arena where you like spawn your best car and just absolutely destroy other people oh my god those people have like insane trucks right there oh my god i just did so much damage but i flipped can i unflip and bro what 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 am I looking? That's not even a car. How is it in this game? Please don't touch me. Bro, why does he have a drill? That's overpowered. Armor means protection. Surely this means we can destroy a few more people. And why did I lose a tire? Bro, this stupid coin. Oh my god, I'm getting absolutely destroyed. Watch out, watch out. What's going on anymore? Why do I not? I'm missing two tires already, dude. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this game. Let's go to the next one. So this game was quite quite popular around 2020 this is midnight race in tokyo it's only getting more and more popular i believe and i'm not gonna lie we're already looking at my favorite parts of the game the freaking menus dude no other game has like a main menu as cool as this yeah bro the, the freaking car i believe this is a bmw or something near a bmw 
W and for some reason the name is Morocco so I bought it. I mean I don't even need to say it but the car model is insane. Absolutely insane. The graphics as well is insane. This game has the best maps like there's no discussion about it. This game has the best maps in terms of any car driving game on Roblox. Look at how many bumpers. What am I looking at? I mean it's quite impressive seeing a game like this on Roblox. And now we're into one of the first car driving games in terms of the current the car driving meta or genre. And this game is literally called Driving Simulator. Obviously you can customize your car like you can upgrade it and max it out. I believe this car is maxed out so I should be able to wreck some noobs in this game. Okay so we're gonna be doing the downtown race. I used to actually be like a sweat in this. A few moments later. I used to actually be like a sweat. What in this. Also, smash that like button if you were born before this game got popular in 2021. And now for the game that a lot of you know and love playing, Drive an Empire. And you can see they have licensed vehicles now, so like the official car company let them use their car license. So we have Pagani, we have Hennessy. Oh my god, is this the Porsche Turbo S? Oh my goodness. This is one of the cars I would drive in real life. Look at this. But this game basically has all the qualities you would expect from current driving games. And most importantly, the game has a bunch of races that you can do. Obviously, this game also has car customization. You can modify your car appearance or car performance. And I mean, customization menu is so sick you can have different engines and you can upgrade the engine let's purchase a race engine and let's max it out but yeah that's pretty much all there is in this game let's go to the next one and when driving empire was struggling after all the drama with the car licenses we had the release and rise of drive world i mean this game is quite sick as well you can see i have this ferrari f4000 or whatever it's called because you all i have a bunch of cars in this game for some reason and the thing that i think drive world does better than drive an empire is the freaking map look at how big this map is and the thing is there is more maps there is japanese maps so they're trying to compete with mrt i guess and there's also race world which is like a racing circuit which is absolutely sick and you can see the car models are one of the things that people kind of complain about in this game like they're they're saying they're not super realistic or they're not accurate to real life but i mean i really don't mind this as long as a car looks cool sounds cool and drives very cool it's a cool car in my books so if i go here with my truck i can take a delivery and you can see it attaches a semi truck to me and it says that my delivery is 1.8 kilometers away so let's see how long we take bro what is this stupid delivery to the middle of nowhere oh my god this is actually making me angry at least we made the delivery. This better give 14,000 for all of that. Oh my god, I'm actually so mad. I'm never I'm never doing a delivery in this game again. Okay, we're done with this game. Let's go to the next one. So one of the most recent car driving games to release is Jupiter Florida. And for some reason, I need to press P to play the game, which is such a weird key. So I bought a car. Where is it? I think I have it. Yeah, I have this Audi S4. It's called an ID, which is cool, I guess. This is my first time playing the game, but I want to show you all the different cars they have. So they have like classic... Oh, there you go. Classic cars, SUVs. They do have quite a selection of cars. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, what the heck is that? Acceleration. Okay, the car physics aren't that impressive. The car models, I'm not gonna lie. They're not nothing special. Like, they're not super realistic. They're just like, I'd say they're average. The map, though, I really like the map so far. I mean, at least that part of the map is super detailed. The rest seems like roads and green stuff i guess this is what florida looks like in real life oh you can get a fishing rod one thousand dollars what who do you think i am oh i see something bro i see a shark oh uh click me oh i need to spam click what the heck oh my god you can see the fish coming my way come here come here come here come here oh i got it yellow tail snapper okay please tell me i just made like a million dollars from this because i want to buy new cars how much is this fish hello fisherman 120 dollars i mean that's just still kind of a price for a real fish dude bro i'm taking a picture of my fish and post it on instagram oh my god this guy has a nissan gtr he's trying to flex bro why is he 
Wait, is he parking in this disabled area? Why is it below? And that's pretty much it for the final game, guys. If you found this video fun, make sure to smash that like button. And also subscribe to the channel to not miss any future videos. And I'm gonna leave a link to my website in the description, fexsound.com, if you wanna get some of this merch. Use code 2024 for 10% off. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.